means pervert, perverse, or perversely, do things perversely, to do wickedly, do wrong. And it has a second root word, abad, which means have no way to flee. Have no way to flee. So iniquity, in essence, is once you transgress with a high hand and say, I don't care what's right, I'm going to do what I want to do anyways, I'm going to do what I want to do anyways, at some point it becomes a part of your character. And once it's a part of your character, it then becomes a part of your makeup or it comes a part of your blood. You see? Everybody with me? So that word iniquity in Hebrew is a word avam, or as we know it in America as avam. So what happens is that transgression becomes a part of your makeup. Oh, oh, that's why they call it avon, right? Because <laughs> it's part of who you are, okay? Whether you like it or not, it's in your blood. You can't change it. It's a part of you. It. It's a part of you. It's there, okay? So once you transgress so much, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, it becomes part of your blood. And then once it's part of your blood, it's part of your DNA. How many people know that word abad means no way to flee? There's one thing you can't change, and that is what? Your DNA. <laughs> you can't change your blood. So what my father done and what my father dealt with, I have to deal with. And, my, and what I deal with, my son has to deal with. According to Ezekiel 18, 19, it says, once we come into the statutes and commandments and the judgments of Yeshua of the Torah, then we no longer have to worry about that because we know how to walk and we shall surely live. So iniquity, in essence, is perverse, iniqu perverse transgressions that's in your blood. Let's get to our lesson. I, I really encourage everybody who is uh, listening by CD or is at home, if you don't get those words, you probably will get kind of lost. Refer back to them. So our lesson today is slavery in the Torah. So the word slave is the same word in Hebrew as servant. So as a Torah or law practicing believer, someone would say to you, how can you practice law or Torah when there's slavery in the Old Testament and it encourages it it don't it condones it it says it's okay your response is going to be uh, well uh, 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 uh. so what we want to do is we want to transform that attitude we want to transform how you respond to questions like that we want to show you how slavery really is from a Hebraic perspective See, no matter what we do, we have to stand for the Torah.